So here we are once again, where I left off in the previous episode. I managed to get the Hammer of Kazgo Roth, which was the last pillar of creation from the four starting zones, I suppose, of the Broken Isles of the Legion expansion. Now, I was thinking about the things that we can do in this episode. Obviously, I could continue onwards with the class quests, I could be continuing with the professions as well, and I do really want to go there. I also want to be heading to Suramar really soon, but there's one thing that's been bothering me for a little while, and that is the fact that there's a quest called Katgar's Discovery that's been showing up on the side of the screen for quite a little while. So I think first and foremost today, we're gonna have a quick talk with Katgar to see what he has to say. Champion, please come to the Violet Citadel immediately. I have made a discovery that I would like to share with you before the Council of Six. Alright, so I'm already in Dalaran, so I guess... I guess I'll just head back really quickly to the Violet Citadel. Now the funny thing is that there are so many things to do right now that I'm kind of overwhelmed by the amount of options, you know? Just gotta start somewhere. So you know what? We'll talk to Katgar first and we'll see where that Nobody leads. Touch it. Not until our guest arrives. Ooh, there's an arcane anomaly. What's going on here? All right. Well, hey. Hail and well met, champion. It is very good to see you, Loco. Well, what's your discovery? So, he's got two quests for me, called the Magic Message as well as the Edict of the God King. I guess we'll accept both of them. For the last 10,000 years, the elven city of Suramar has been sealed in an arcane barrier, much like Dalaran once was. That barrier has come down. Since then, waves of magical energy have been emanating from the city like ripples in a pond. It was in these waves that I sensed the pattern, a spell encrypted among the chaos. I have recreated the spell here, it is not dangerous, but beyond that, I have no idea what it does. Examine the arcane Fair anomaly. Any disturbance should catalyze the sequence. Just uh, give it a poke or something. Uh, okay, I guess I can poke it. So we can catalyze the arcane sequence. Ooh. The echo of the first arcanist, Talistra. Talistra of the Shaldurai, the Nightborn. First arcanist in the court of Suramar. My people have made a dire pact. One that spells doom for this world. Time is short. If you have found this message, you are capable of finding me as well. Make haste for Suramar. You may be our last hope. Oh man. Alright, so I guess this is where we begin our questing to Suramar if we want to. So for anyone wondering, we've been to Asuna, Valshara, High Mountain and Stormheim, but there's one final zone that you cannot enter until you're level 110 and that is Suramar. Um, and that is obviously the one that we can be heading to here as well. But apparently the Arcane Anomaly indeed did, did give us a little bit more information about what exactly is going on there. It is very good to see you, Loco. Alright, so the magic message. A magical message in a bottle slipped right beneath the Legion's nose. Clever. That's quite clever, actually. The Nightborn could prove powerful allies against the Legion. We must aid this Talisra if we can. We should be able to find her by tracking her magical echoes, the same way I found her distress call. I can teleport you near the location where she recorded that message. From there, you must search for ripples in the very fabric of the arcane itself. My wand should do the trick. Follow the sparks it creates. This should lead you to the places where Talisra used her magic. Use Katgar's wand to find the arcane echoes and track down the first arcane. Without you, as well, will surely fall. I guess. Be careful, champion. <laughs> the land of Suramar has been wild for ten thousand years. Hmm. I guess I guess we don't really leave each other uh, or we don't really leave another option here I was gonna say I guess we can talk to him once again and see if we can potentially obtain another quest from him But it turns out that Kotgar's wand crackles to life as soon as we we touch him and I guess Yeah, we are right now In Suramar. I'm not entirely sure what to expect from this place. There are a couple of nightborns over there apparently she must have come this way. Keep looking Okay. I don't really want to fight him if we don't have to. Now there are some indications on the mini-map of where we need to go. I guess we're just simply gonna have to take these guys out. At the very least, one by one. That should not be that big of an issue. I'm not entirely sure what this what this zone is about though. I'm not entirely sure what to expect from this area. I've been very good at like not spoiling myself. <laughs> Alright. Well let's use the one then. 
Hmm, alright. So it's just simply gonna lead the path where we need to go to? I guess I can just keep on using it, right? Wait. Make haste for Suramar. You may be our last hope. Eat Nala Kanesh. Alright. So she's basically just gonna guide our way. I shall dispose of you, lowborn! I need to get closer. Need to keep moving. Alright, so she's basically guiding the way of where we need to be heading here. Oh, I don't have I don't have my Velo Malorn equipped. Whoopsie daisies. Well that makes things way easier. I was already wondering why my damage output seemed so very low. <laughs> well there we go. Now I can cast the Phoenix's Flames as well. Look at this zone, though. It's really pretty. I always really like the Elven Cities, and I guess that's pretty much, well... That's pretty much the same idea that I'm getting, although I'm not entirely sure who these Nightborn are. I guess I'm just gonna have to take them out one by one and just simply to follow the path. I think after, after taking out this Scion here as well, I'm gonna once again be at a position where I can activate the Wand and see what she has to say. Our magic will break you! Another blinking arcane echo. Well, let's have a quick look. Wrath! Wither, I must be getting close. There's quite a lot of Nightborn here, though. Wrath Domas! I guess all I can do is just take him out one by one and follow in her footsteps. Okay, so I've made my way to the next Echo, and in the distance I see Erasmus Moonblade, apparently. I just activate the, uh, the Echo here first, but I'm not entirely sure what that is. Stand down, Erasmus. Can you not see that Elisant has forsaken us? Anna! She, she casted a spell. That will buy me some time. Oh, she casted a spell that will... Lock him up for just a little bit, but I'm assuming that I'm gonna have to take him out. All right, fine. I can pop some cooldowns. A time stop spare. She will pay for that. This is not your business, Outlander. The Lystra has betrayed. Witness the power of the Nightborn. Yeah, so basically she just did a time stop spell to make sure that he couldn't really be doing a whole lot there. Which is fair enough. I guess that will eventually allow us to take him quite easily. And I guess that means that we just simply have to follow the path once again. The music here though... It's funny because... The music is very sad in a way, whereas the zone looks very pretty and very lively, you know what I mean? Like... The music is a big part of this, but it looks like we have found Talisra. Let's see if we can enter a bubble. Oh, we can. Apparently the Withered can't, though. Let's have a quick Our look at what she has to say. Has An Outlander, you received my message? Well, don't need to be condescending. I have much to tell you, but it's not safe to speak here. I cannot hold this barrier forever. Talisra lifts a delicate flask to her lips. Her eyes shimmer as she takes a sip. If we push through, we may find shelter up ahead. Escort the Lystra to safety. Okay. Be free. Wrath Anutanos. We must take care. The Withered Ones prowl this area, ravenous in their hunger for magic and flesh alike. Mm. Such is the fate of Nightborn, who cannot drink of the Nightwell. I just moonwalk in front of you, Thalistra. Don't worry about it, I got this. I walk faster and backwards than you do forwards, Talistra. You're supposed to be powerful. Unless... Alright, fine. So Look there's out. there's a bunch of Withered over us. here. Oh, Alright. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. Time to pop cooldowns. Do a lot of damage. There's actually a lot of them right now. Let's see if she's impressed by my spells at all. She probably doesn't really care. There you go. I took out a whole lot at once. Was that impressive, Talistra? Are you impre- Oh, you're just gonna walk on? Cool guys don't look at explosions, right? I guess- My strength is fading. We must find shelter. Alright, alright, sorry, sorry. No time for joking, Loco. 
cool guys don't look at explosions though. I've watched many Michael Bay movies. <laughs> I'm blowing things up right behind her, but she doesn't notice a thing. That's okay, Talisra. You're the first Arcanist. What do I know? Who are you, though? I don't even know if I need to attack all of these Wither, because... I... I need a moment. Alright, you just sit down for a second. That's okay. Oh no. The barrier is being drained. Why are you guys attacking her? Stop! Stop! Dude, stop! I got a lot of insta-casts, but I go through them quite quickly if I have to take out this many minions. Alright, there we go. Get back into the bubble. That's very good. And she manages to once again actually up the intensity of it. Which is a good thing. I guess we're just gonna follow wherever she leads. There's actually a, a mill box right here on the minimap. Strange. Why do they not follow? They don't like the water, I guess. That's my guess. Ooh. Shall I run? Sanctuary. I need to rest. I like this though. This is really cool. The night well calls to me. You fight well. Perhaps it is time for a proper introduction. Well, hey. That's what I was thinking as well. Thalisra winces and holds her abdomen. <laughs> I can't ignore this wound no longer. Help me patch this up. I will explain everything. Bandage Thalisra. Anratha Adore. Alright. Alright, fine. Thalisra, I do have a girlfriend, okay? I don't know. 10,000 years ago, my city was radiant. The jewel of the Night Elf Empire. Suramar. Our people prospered for centuries, until the Legion came. Entranced by the power they offered, our queen betrayed us to the ruin of the world. As destruction drew ever closer, a desperate choice was made. To conjure a powerful shield, that would save our beloved city. It worked. Centuries passed. Without moonlight. Without sunlight. To survive, we turned to the Nightwell. A font of great power in the city's heart. Slowly, it changed us. And ultimately, drew the Legion once more to our gates. They offered us a trade. The Nightwell for our lives. As the Elders planned their surrender, some of us rebelled. We failed. Now the devils have taken Suramar. And by the curse of the Nightwell, I am damned to wither away. As my city burns. What an amazing cutscene. I had no idea that that would be here. That was awesome. Really very cool. So they are indeed night elves, technically speaking. They just haven't seen the sun or the moon in centuries. And apparently, eventually, the Legion did decide to come back and overthrow them once again. And Thalistra is one of the few survivors. Alright. That was amazing, though. We must find a way to reclaim Suramar City. I'll try my very best. This is great. My people have subsisted on the Nightwell for millennia. Ancient mana is our lifeblood. Without it, we become, well, you saw them out there. Thalisra holds her flask aloft, gently shaking free the last precious drops. I'm afraid I have been rather reckless today. Already my senses are dulling. Without magic to feed upon, I will turn. Please, find me something to feed upon. Anything. Enter Shalaran and find something to say Thalisra's thirst. We are only as strong as our Okay, so in order to make sure she does not become a withered herself, we need to find something that she can feed on. 
And apparently it is going to be in Shala Run, which is where we are at right now. This sort of makes me think of the academy that we... We have been to earlier. I guess I'll just simply head down and see if we can find anything that we can potentially help her out with. It's very dark in here, though. Do you think... Oh, I can't go in. I wanted to jump in, but I can't. Because I do see that there's water, apparently, on the minimap. I'm secretly hoping that that could potentially be a spring or something. That she can... No, it's there's a gate in front of it. I was hoping that it would maybe be a spring that I could help her out with. I love getting into these new stories though, although I may be able to go there. Yeah, there we go. By simply taking out or taking these staircases down. I thought there was a gate, but... I may be getting way off track though. I don't think this is where I'm supposed to be heading just yet, but it sure is pretty. Now, by the way, one of the benefits that we do get from completing these quests right here is that we eventually will become friendly with the Nightfallen reputation, and that means that we are more than likely going to be able to start doing world events as well and world quests and all that. I'm not entirely sure what they are, but... Man, I don't... What am I looking for? Oh. <laughs> Ooh, no. Oh no, I just simply had to walk forward a little bit more. What is this? The keeper? Oh, there she is. She's up there. Can I can I hit you? I'm afraid I can't. Okay, come down, please. I didn't walk on far enough. Um Maybe I can activate these crystals here and collect those. Here we go. Salentia Wills calling forth ancient keepers. Oh no. Alright. Need two more. And this is the final one right here. Okay, got him. Now, question is How do I attack Salentia? Can I attack from here? Apparently, she's immune. What if I take out these things that are on the outside? She's been controlling those for a while. I think this may very well be the key. We gotta bring her down from that platform that she's on right now. There we go. This thing is strong though. There we go, I got one of them down. Alright, can I hit you now? Yeah, I most definitely can! Alright, here we go. Gonna have to do some damage to her, but it looks like we can just simply take the damage that she's casting on us. And this will more than likely give us all we need here. To take her out. Time to shoot my fireballs and get rid of her once and for all. Got her. Alrighty. So I've managed to take care of Salentia and I also got the mana crystals that were like laid around the little platform. Let's have a quick look if Talistra can do anything with that. Talistra's eyes have dulled and her body is shaking uncontrollably. Talistra takes the crystals with a trembling hand. Ooh, she can give me some 800 artifact power. Oh man, that's really good. And also a, a 800 uh, cape. Ooh, that's real. Okay, we'll take it. Thank you. And we even got an epic upgrade on that cloak. That is super good. There we go. That's a huge upgrade. Alrighty. The chamber beyond may be the perfect hiding place. Now that its guardian has been dealt with, come with me. Follow to Lystra while she explores Shal Aran. I have never seen anything like it. There is a beautiful sort of foresty area in the back, Thalistra. I've already had a look. Yeah, it is very dark over here, but follow me. In Allah. Oh. Much better. Don't you mean Lumos? I'm, I believe you meant Lumos. Old teleporters. Not so different from the ones in Suramar City. Seems they are inactive. Wait, wait, there's teleporters over here? Oh. Maybe Let we can do this place up. Downstairs. Watch your step. I've already been down here, which is very dark previously, but maybe maybe we can do up this place a little and make it look a little better. There we go. She's lighting up the entire place. I need a spell like that. I'm a freaking mage, a fire Strange. mage, right? The floor looks like a map. And we are at the center. How does that look like a map to you? One thing is certain. Ley line energy is being fed into this chamber from elsewhere. 
What could have required such power? A weapon, perhaps? And those keepers protecting it. How long their vigil must have been. <sighs> I have more questions now than before. There's a pretty room. In the back of the Lystra. I want to show you. Come, this way. For now, at least we know the Withered have learned to avoid this place. And nobody from the palace would think to search for us here. So it wait, is a perfect refuge, a temporary home, until I can return to Suramar. But first, I will need allies. I mean, I've got my class hall. We can probably help you out. One day at a time. Thalisra brings a hand to her gaunt cheek. My body has deteriorated so quickly. The Shaldurai will be redeemed. I will free Suramar from the Legion, but first I must regain my strength, and we need a plan. Well, I wish to bind my Hearthstone here. Alright. I can do that. Are you an innkeeper now? That is that is quite the, the, the switch that you wanted to make. You also now sell things? What are you selling? Oh wow, she sells eye level 800 items. 840 even, but we must be revered with them, which is one of the... Oh, that's really cool actually. Huh. Apparently she sells all kinds of powerful things, all kinds of powerful formulas. But we first must be, um, you know, at a higher, uh, at a higher uh, reputation with them, or with her rather, for the moment. Once we are friendly, though, we can actually do some, uh, some trading over here. We'll have a quick look. But anyway, for now, we'll just talk to her. The Nightwell is a font of incredible power. We must not allow the Legion to make use of it. All right. Such a temporary home will serve us well. I mean, once again, get some more artifact power. Not bad at all. I will free Suramar for the Legion, but first I must regain my strength. And we need a plan. Wait, who's that? Oh. Oh, there's a couple more people that just zoned in over here. I guess we zoned in, Rodder. That's really cool. There's more people hanging out in this little area. All right. So let's have a quick look at what quest she has to offer. Um, she's got three of them. Ancient Mana. Without the night well to feed upon, my comrades and I will have to live off of the land itself. Ancient mana from the underground ley lines can reach the surface in many forms, most commonly as crystals or gems. The Lystra picks up a small stone and, whispering words of power, traces a rune upon it with her fingertip. This stone will glow when ancient mana is nearby. Please gather as much as possible. It will be a precious resource in the weeks to come. Gather from three of the ancient mana nodes. Okay, I can do so. So, first Arcanist Alishra is stable. The Nightborn have an insatiable thirst for ancient mana, which can be found all over Suramar. So we need to make sure she doesn't, like, wither away, <laughs> pretty much. All right. We got Oculet's workshop. We need to make contact with Chief Talamancer Oculet, the man who developed Suramar's teleportation network. Oculet had a n workshop in Old Suramar from the age before the Sundering. He may be taking refuge there. Thalisra presses a small coin into your palm. If you find him, show him this. Hopefully you see him before he sees you. Give the first Arcanist token to the Chief Telemancer. Okay. I can do so as well. And then we got one last quest called An Old Ally. I was on my way to Ambervale in hopes of finding an old colleague. Arcanist Keldaneth was fascinated by the Withered. He studied them for years, hoping to calm their feral nature or even cure them. When one of his subjects escaped and ran amok in the royal gardens, Keldaneth was ordered to seize his research and kill all Withered in his possession. He refused and was exiled. If Keldaneth lives, he is near Withered, and Withered are drawn to old settlements like Ambervale. Alright. We can have a quick look at that, I suppose, as well. And with that, it looks like we have started our first group of quests over in Suramar. Now, I'm, I'm not sure what this area is. I've been wondering that for a little while. I have no idea what this... Like, it looks like a port, almost. I guess that must be Suramar City, right? Hmm. I still have another quest as well from way back, called A Falling Star, that would allow me to take Edgar's Griven all the way from Dalaran to Suramar as well. But I guess... I guess we'll just go to an old ally first. We'll have a look at Embervale. 
Alright, so I've made my way outside once again. And I'm assuming this is the best way to get there, right? Although, apparently there's a flight point right over here. Let's have a quick look. Ooh, new flight location discovered. Oh, so now we can also fly in Suramar. That's very useful. And at the same time, that mailbox we saw earlier, I guess I'll have a quick look at that as well. Ooh, a symbol of victory. Alrighty, I'll take it. Now, there is a rare on the minimap, and as always, I'm gonna go ahead and get distracted here. ASAP. <laughs> the usual. There's a teleportation mate. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. So... Oh, this is in the Hall of the Guardian. If I'm not mistaken, this... Yeah, this room we unlocked with the research that I've done in... In... in um... Where was that again? Anyway, basically I can customize the class hall as well, and one of the researches was to set up this hall, I suppose, right here. And apparently there are different teleporters to the different zones. I didn't even know that those were already available to me. So we got we got teleportations to pretty much everything. That is super nice. Now there's still a whole lot of other quests as well. Before I continue onwards though and get even more distracted. Hold on, let me just head back to Suramar, because there's a lot of things to do over there as well. Hey, Mr. Toad! I just found out that you're a rare! So, you know what? I'll just start activating all of my abilities and nuke you down as soon as possible, because I do need more and more- Ooh, that's not something I want to stand in, I don't think. But I do need more and more order hall resources. I need to make sure that I get... a lot of stuff. Got him! Give me something good. Ooh! Teaches you how to summon this, uh, this companion. Wait, there he is! You're a little smaller than, 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 you know... <laughs> the model that you're based off of, I suppose, but... You can come with me, little frog. There you go. Um, anyway, I need to make sure that I find some mana crystals. And I see that some of them are located right in the area that we are at already. So, you know what? Let me gather those first before I do anything else. We're gonna have to avoid some of these withered, apparently, because... They're gonna follow me around for a while if I'm not careful, but... I guess I'll just simply try and, and collect as many of these mana shards as we can. And then... After a little while, I think I can go ahead and turn in that quest once more. Alright, so I'm following the road up north, looking for Ambervale. I believe that's what it was called, right? Ooh. More crystals. I don't know how many of these I need. I mean, I can get them everywhere, apparently. They actually come, apparently, in clumps of ten as well. I'm assuming we're gonna need quite a couple, so for the moment, I'll... I'll just capture as much of it as possible, but I think... I think I don't want to get too, too distracted either, though, because I know myself quite well, and I will... I will end up gathering mana shards for the rest of this episode. Not really the most exciting thing in the world. Look at this, though. It's so pretty over here. Oh, man. Alright, um... I believe this is what it was called, right? There's supposed to be Amberville right over here. Apparently, the... Quest objective, though, is right here on the low ground, so you know what? Oh, yeah, there we go. We did find Amberville after all. Um, where is he? Where, where's the entrance to this pillar type thing? Is it right here? Ooh, found it. Probably took the long way around. Alright, so there's an enchanted scroll and a bunch of vermin. Somebody has been living here recently. This scroll bears strange lettering that glows warmly, beckoning your hand. As your fingers trace the elegant symbols on a page, a voice dictates the words in your mind. It seems the Nightborn have elevated even simple note-taking to a sorcerer's art. Arcanist Keldaneth has definitely been working in this area. There must be more of his notes scattered around. Inspect six pages of Keldaneth's notes. Day 5. Wards prove effective at deterring the Withered, but do nothing for the cacophony of critters and beasts outside. The nights are so loud out here. Okay. So we need to find a couple more pages, apparently. There's an arcane ward. I relish ward. what little sleep oh. I can manage. Tomorrow I begin looking for subjects. Apparently there's an arcane ward right outside of the tower, I suppose. This small device of elegant nightborn design crackles gently with arcane power. Keldonet's notes mention wards that keep the withered at bay. It seems he found some form of spellcasting that does not tempt the ravenous appetite for magic. These may prove useful in your search for the missing arcanist. Activate four of the arcane wards in Emberville. Alrighty. Any, anything else I need to do over here? 
Is there anything? Is there anything to see maybe up this tower? I'm gonna have a quick little look. Is there no? There's there's absolutely nothing. All right. Um. So I guess. I guess it's time to find notes and look all over Amberville for these uh, wards to activate as well. Well, well, there's a flying note right over here. Day nine. Still no luck in communicating with the withered. I must regard this failure not as a measure of ability, but a measure of progress. This is all bored. I guess we'll activate that, and in the meantime. I just head to the center of this area. It's a little difficult to navigate because of all of these weird looking trees, but well, I guess it must be up here or something. There is a rare. There is a rare in this area, although I'm not entirely sure where to look. Oh, there it is. Shalon. Yo, Shalon. Have you had a fireball to the face ever in your past? Because I'm not opposed to that idea. Ooh, and there's some mana chunks over here as well after taking them out. There we go. We get an ancient mana gem. Gains 100 ancient mana. Ooh. Apparently they go for auction as well for about 400 gold. That's not bad at all. And here's another one of those wart as well. There we go. Activated that. And at the same time, time to fight some Scourge. Probably some of these vermin as well, which I really don't want to fight. But what we can do is activate this scroll. Do you think we can do it? Oh, no, no. I'm gonna have to take these guys out first. All right, got it. Day 14. The new subject, number 16, is special. His arcane essence is touched by some mysterious power. I have named him Theron. Okay. So he's got a new subject for his experiments. Um, now, I'm once again... Ooh. I'm once again looking for one of these uh, rare moves, and well, they're not that rare, I suppose, but they are pretty strong. I guess he's eating a dead crane right now. I guess we'll just simply try our very best and nuke him down once again. Most of them we can do, as long as we control reasonably well. This thing is actually really strong. He's been doing a ton of damage to me for a while. I'm gonna try my very best to just use all of my spells at the correct timing, and he's very close to dying right now, but for a second I was a little worried. Look at that! <sighs> for a second there, I was once again a little worried that he would eventually take me out. Alright, here we go. Cloak of the White Prowler. We're getting all kinds of upgrades today, aren't we? What does this one look like? What? How is that even, how is that even qualified to be called a cloak? Anyway, I was getting a little distracted, a little ahead of myself. Back in Amberville right now. To Breakthrough. Using Theron's essence as the base, I have crafted a spell that calms the withered. At least it works sometimes. Hmm, interesting. There's once again more and more rares over here. Uh, another scroll. There we go. Day Got it. Four. Woke to a night elf's blade at my neck. He asked what I was doing to the withered. Searching for a cure, I replied. He merely grunted and disappeared into the woods. I, <laughs> I like how that's like a casual entry in your uh, in your journal. It's like, yeah, I, I awoke. Knife to the throat, no biggie. Okay, that should be the last of the warts. There we go. A rewarding effort. <laughs> the ward snaps to life, giving you a slight pinch. Keldonet must have been putting great care into developing a spell that would scare the withered away without harming them. Alright, more artifact power, not bad. We've been attacked here for a little while. That's alright. There we go. Gonna be able to take her out quite easily. Um, and then, I guess, we're just looking for two more scrolls, and then it's time to get out of here. Not without taking Auron the file, though. Once again, these minions are so strong! This guy actually keeps cannibalizing as well, which means that he's gonna be able to get a lot of his health back. Eventually, though, once again, I managed to just barely kill him. A little closer than I wanted it to be, but got it. Got it all taken care of. I've been looking around for these notes for a little while. Looks like I finally found one again. Need one Day more. Day 33. Low on Arquine. Theron making excellent progress. Shallan remains stubborn. Crystals becoming harder to find. Okay. Well, it doesn't tell me a whole lot now, does it? Um. 
I guess we'll just quickly have a look around the area and see if I can just simply find it that way. They seem to be quite hidden. Like in general, they're not that easy to spot. Oh, there it is. Okay, okay, there we go. Off in the distance. Oh, no, Loki, you idiot. Loki, you idiot. Not only have I triggered like a gazillion of these Nightfallen, I've also managed to successfully jump down into the abyss. Not something I would recommend. Here we go. The final scroll. Day 40. A massive Etten trampled through my workshop at Coralone Manor. Scared him away with magic. I have a feeling he will be back. Ooh. Well, would you look at that, who we see in the distance? A Coralune Etten. I don't think I can go ahead and take him out by myself, but what I can try and do is make my way to what I think will be the Arcanist himself. There's actually a lot of Etten over here, and actually, never mind. This guy is not a rare. They are everywhere. Excuse me, Mr. Rare. Do you like fireballs? Because I have fireballs if you like him. Oh god, this guy has a ton of HP. I'm starting to think I should maybe consider skipping those until I'm a little bit at a higher level. Oh my god, there is no way. Not even remotely close that I'm going to be able to take him out like this. Alright, invisible. Oh, stop attacking me. Alright. Um, looks like I made it. <laughs> looks like I made it. Totally according to plan. Obviously, while I'm invisible, they can't really see me. Um... So you know what? Keldonaut's knapsack is right over here. I'll go ahead and turn in my quest. A bag containing countless pages of technical notes. Flipping through them, you find Keldonaut's lost journal entry. Day 50. The sky has turned black. Demons everywhere. And this hunger. This endless hunger. Anything else you have to say, sir? I don't think you're done Subjects yet. Subjects released. I can no longer protect them. So... My spellstone. Someone, please, use it to carry on my work. So basically he was collecting these withered for a while, right? Trying to find a cure. Huh. According to this final journey entry, Keldoneth used something called a spellstone in his experiments. The spellstone, if not the Arcanist himself, must be nearby. Retrieve the spellstone. Alright, we'll do so. And... Well, apparently it's gonna be right over here. I don't think it's about time we head back. Look at the minimap, though! Two more rares! Two more rares, right over here. Well... Is that, oh, Arcanest Keldaneth, a withered himself right now as well. What a sad end to this story. I guess we're just simply gonna have to take him out. He's a little more powerful than the other withered, but not by much. And, well, at least we put him out of his misery. I'm sorry, sir, but I got your spellstone at least. Wait, 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 wait. We have to turn in the quest right here with Theron, subject 16. Are you telling me that he actually managed to find a cure for the Withered? This Withered seems entranced by the Spellstone. He is completely pacified. A small tag hanging from his sleeve reads 16, Therian. Well, at least we found where apparently he got located, huh? Or where he went. It seems Theron is still under the Arcanist's spell. In the absence of Keldonath himself, a life subject could be useful in helping Thalysra unravel this research. Alright. I think with that, it is time for us to return to Talisra and see what she has to say about that. Lucky, I managed to set my heartstone over there. Thalisra, hope you're still doing well. I will free Suramar from the Legion, but first I must regain my strength. Okay, so how do I feed you the ancient mana? I'm not entirely sure. Um, well, we'll just turn in the quest first. Keep a lookout for those crystals formations all over Suramar. We will need them. Okay. Subject 16. So, Keldoneth turned in the end. He deserved better. Thank you for giving him peace. More and more artifact power everywhere. Nice. Keldoneth discovered something incredible. The power to subdue and even control the Withered. I will pick up where my old friend left off. We shall see to it that he did not die in vain. 
Perhaps in the end we can even find peace for the wretched who have been left to a fate worse than death. I will need more subjects. Take Keldonet's spellstone and use it to subdue more withered. But for now, I am going to be ending this episode right here. So I hope you enjoyed the first steps into Suramar. Definitely very, very enjoyable. Very pretty zone. I doesn't I didn't really know exactly what to expect, but so far, it definitely seems really, really good. I enjoyed that cutscene a ton. But anyway. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button down below as it does help me out a ton. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe as well as follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Links are in the description. Of course, the sub button is below the video. Other than that, I want to thank you very much so for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, alright? And I will see you in the next one.